Yeah, nice beer snacks. What, like sashimi? It's not food. <laughs> Hello and welcome. This is Andy, I'm Serena and together we're Right Foot Travel. Join us in our epic open-ended honeymoon traveling around the world. This is us. Put last two nights in this little 24-7 car park. It's not too bad. What is it? Cost us 1,800 yen. Now it's four o'clock, have a bit of a break. I might go out and explore the other bars tonight. Oh. Whoa. We forgot to find black spray paint. No, I want to go when you go to the hardware store. Oh, okay. Oh, cheaper. Serena wants to redo these lines in blue. And red. And she reckons we can do the inner lines in the colors red. Um, doubtful. But we'll see. Yeah. I was right and you were wrong. I'm going to sing that. Yeah, I was I right wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're just saying, imagine someone's calling the police because you're riding in someone's car. <laughs> we could go over it one more time once it's dried up, and then it might last a bit longer. Adelaide. Oh, okay, well, it doesn't run. Well, that definitely stands out a bit more, doesn't it? Yeah, because we have the white already. Yeah, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Maybe you want to go further up? Oh yeah, we can now. Can well, we? Then, yeah, then, what is it right, about here? About there, yeah. No, no, it's better than I thought it would be. Yeah, about there. Last morning here in Zendai before we leave. I wanted to visit the local fresh food market. Now for this, get some more stuff to buy. Ooh, watermelon for 350. Look oh, at shit, this. That's cheap. That's actually not a bad price. No shopping this for today. Onion, garlic, honey, yogurt, vinegar, bread, meat, soda water, avocado, cucumber. Yeah. I mentioned previous videos. Veggies and fruit are quite expensive usually. The yeah. pricing here are not too bad. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Two, uh, two potato. Oh? The potato. Yeah. Oh, look at Potato. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> oh, is it? Mm. 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 Oh, yum. Mm. Oh, seafood. Shark heart. Heart? Yes. From a shark? Yeah, nice beer snacks. What, like sashimi? Sashimi, yes. Very, very delicious. Oh, I don't know. Oh, eel? Yes. So it turns out we're getting some fresh tuna caught today, apparently. Mm -hmm. I was really actually tempted to try to see urgent one of them. Oh. So when I was uh, looking at the stuff to buy this uh, tuna, which I didn't really plan to buy, the lady was trying to upsell me on uh, shark heart. That was freshly cut today. And she said that they eat it raw and they just have it with a little bit of soy sauce and salt. Yeah. Nah, I think I'm okay with tuna. Not today. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, that's pretty good. But this, this tuna is really lovely. Oh, nice. I'm surprised. I actually didn't think I'd like it. <laughs> this is so different because the, the only tuna I know is like tin tuna. Yeah. <laughs> Flipper. Which I, I really like. It's been that big before. Whoa. Oh, my ears still twitching. Oh, it's a flathead. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's very good. This one had sushi, or like a random plate. I didn't know what was on it. And one of them was like a, a, a roux sack, like a fish egg sack. It didn't taste very nice. 
I love trying all the pickle stuff. The last couple of times I bought random pickle stuff, it wasn't or didn't turn out very well. So I'm a little bit put off at the moment. Besides my kimchi, I think I'll take it easy at the moment with the pickles. Get one. Get two of these. Yep. Again. No. It's Not cheap, but you get some flowers. Look at that. It's a Japanese peach. Look at buns. Ooh. Let's see if it tastes any good, hey? Mm. Fucking better be is like what three dollars fifty. Ooh, juice squirting out there. Oh, yum! Fucking hell. Mm. Oh yeah, you gotta try that. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, it's too soft for me to eat. <laughs> it was almost a like bite into a juice box. We are another Mission Eki today. We just left Zendai. And this one is the Mishinu Eki Jubon Nasato Futago no Iu. The cool thing with this one is they have an onsen. So the onsen costs 650 yen per person. So have a little bath right there. Because the last couple of days was pretty warm, we wore sunscreen. And the sponge bath only gets you so far. So we're looking forward to this. And they have even have a nice restaurant, which is not too badly priced. Using the force. Hello. Hello. Translate. Still. Translate. <laughs> Thanks for Google Translate. Yeah, tells me what things are. We do like to try different things, but because we just tried not using Google Translate, a couple of times now we had the problem that it wasn't that delicious because it wasn't what we thought it is. But yeah. Oh, well, we, we get there, we get there. Brain yogurt. Mm, I like that's my favorite kind of yogurt. Octopus. Mm. Mm. Often, if these are filled, red bean or sesame. sesame. So, it's this Mission Eki, the government run um, rest stops. And as far as I understand, it's technically it's illegal, illegal to camp in the car or sleep in the car overnight. But no one will kick you out. Heaps of people do it. The three or four times we stayed on one Mission Eki, we saw heaps of Japanese people sleep in their cars. So many. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good opportunity for us here to stay here as well. Because it's like half an hour to get to the port tomorrow, mm -hmm. where we catch a ferry to the Cat Island. And also have a shower. So, where are we going today, baby? Kitty Island. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Cat Island. A new bamboo is growing. That's kind of cool. It is actually really cool. And another abandoned house. That's what I see a lot in the Japanese countryside, unfortunately. Oh, that's actually gorgeous, Fredo. <laughs> Look at all the spiders. Be careful. Cat Island. <laughs> come out, come out, mate. Come on. Sit. Ah, oh, look at him. A new buddy. Oh, oh she doesn't like this one. Not all cats like each other.
isn't it's it? Very beautiful. Solid bamboo. Yeah, we haven't really seen many bamboo forests, have we? No, well, the one in Kyoto we didn't go to, that famous one. Yeah, because apparently it's just overrun with people. That's what Matt was saying. That's what Matt said. I'm still holding on to my rubbish. Becoming more and more Japanese. Oh. That's the, so the bane of our existence is rubbish. It is so hard, especially for us, to get rid of it. Yeah, it is. It's incredibly hard. So we do do the right thing with our rubbish. We do separate the recyclables with the comp uh, combustibles, all of that. And then we try to put them in the bins that we find. But in saying that, you have to find to a bin find first. those bins are so hard. Oh, it's just a nightmare. And then when you find those bins, they are tiny. Or we go to the 7-Elevens and we feel obligated that we have to buy something <laughs> because we feel bad, but there's literally nowhere else for us to get rid of our rubbish. Like, it's, yeah, no. it's hard. This is gorgeous, actually. Yeah, yeah. the but rubbish situation is probably the most painful thing about Japan for yeah. us. From Europe, you're used to Australia, used to uh, public rubbish bins. You can, it's easy to get rid of rubbish. Yeah, rubbish yeah. bins everywhere. But I gotta say as well, even Japanese people, I have a thing, have the same problem. Yeah. Because often we see like abandoned rubbish, in like petrol stations and stuff, and to public toilets. Yeah, people. But no it. tourists are, so they must have, they must feel the pain as much as us. Yes. Well, there's not much here. No. But there's a little shrine in the path. I might go up there. I mean, you can explore the entire island if you, if that's what you really want to do. But we did specifically come here for the kiddies. Climb up a thousand and one stairs, apparently. Yes. It's oh. exercise. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do this. Almost there. Almost there. Here we are. Still a nice spot. Look at the cable. <laughs> God, don't touch it. Oh, so unfortunately, a lot of this town is kind of almost dead. There's a <laughs> There's not much going on here anymore. So this is a township. I think the buildings, but by the looks of it, 99% of them are all abandoned, which is quite sad. But yeah, we have seen maybe five people on this island, yeah. which are not tourists, but looks of it. And yeah, it's just very sad. But we see, the more we drive the countryside, the more we actually see abandoned houses and mm. houses in disrepair and yeah, it's sad, but well, that's what it is, I guess the, the hard thing is, is we can't really tell if they are actually abandoned or they're just, oh, poops. It's a vending machine. <laughs> it's fitting Mr. Crow. <laughs> yeah. Even this government run building seems to be like abandoned. Oh yeah god. That's so sad. Mm. If there's a tsunami warning, these gates were closed. So you blocked off this island. So you got, got some on this part and some over there on the other side to protect this town of five people. <laughs> You're smoking hot. <laughs> Serena bought a little insect coil holder. To summarize our stay here, the cat island called Tashiro Island. Mm -hmm. It was okay. It was okay. Unfortunately, the island is in a very sad state because yeah. most people, like 99% of the buildings are abandoned. Mm -hmm. There's barely anyone living here. Mm -hmm. The cats are in okay conditions. Yeah. You have to remember they are living in the wild. They do get fed, mm -hmm. but they live in the wild. Sort of infighting, I reckon, from the cats. Mm -hmm. They live according, or they look accordingly. To it's their just, environment. Yeah, it's just mm. every. It's just sad when you go to a village and everything's abandoned and yeah. rotting away and. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like mainland Japan. I but I had in my mind that this island was going to be really nice, like the mainland Japan. Um, and all the cats would be really cute and fluffy and some absolutely were and we did have amazing experiences with them but yeah a lot of them were in the not nicest of conditions but they do live in the wild. Oh so, yeah. We'll give so, them this map. So here's the map. It's a bit windy, sorry. 
abandoned. There's nothing except there's the one. Oh, there's one cafe. It has some. The food and drinks are actually quite well priced for where we are. Mm. There's here in our town. There's nothing. There's literally nothing. We didn't go here because you couldn't be bothered. Mm -hmm. So pretty much nothing. Mm. Nothing. A couple cats. So you could just go this part and then you're done. The island itself is still very pretty in terms of the vegetation. vegetation. Yeah, it is actually really, really, really nice vegetation. And uh, as Andy said a couple of times, oh, it feels like we're in the Predator movie yeah, it's right kinda now. Like, it's kind of like this rainforest, <laughs> it was the bamboo. Mm. I really like the vegetation here, but yeah, yeah, I would not come back. If we ever seen Instagram or wherever we saw this, yeah, nah, it's, not it's, like, not it's not like that. Oh, it must be old footage. It's not bland. Uh, if you have to get your fix, just go to the cat. Yeah.